We're learning more tonight about the plans to bring a decommissioned U.S. Navy frigate to Presque Isle Bay. Brian Wilk speaking with Congressman Mike Kelly, who's playing a role now in funding the project. Brian joins us now in the studio. Sean, Mike Kelly says when the project came up a couple of years ago, they had many questions. How would they secure the ship? What ship would it be? And what would it take to bring a ship from Philadelphia to the Erie Bayfront? Mike Kelly says the frigate would have unlimited uses and revenue opportunities. It would also honor those who have served. The ability to actually have something uh, that people can go to that commemorates the service that our men and women in the military have done, I think is a tremendous asset. Mike Kelly says he requested $500,000 in federal money for dredging. They will have to form a cradle for the ship to sit. We have to be very careful because of Dobbins Landing. As you anchor the ship and as you attach it, because of the immensity, the size of it, if there's strong winds, it could actually pull the dock away uh, and cause great damage. The final cost would come after a lengthy study. This will involve federal, state, and private money. The idea behind this is unlike, unlike the Niagara, which is which is uh, the flagship for Pennsylvania. This is an independent ship, so it will not be taxpayer funded. This certainly allows us to, uh, to show the impact that Oliver Hazard Perry had on the Navy. John Oliver with Visit Erie says it's more than just our maritime history. This could be a big boost to the local economy. People are coming in, they're staying several days. Uh, they're utilizing our hotels, uh, restaurants, other attractions. The Oliver Hazard Perry Shipyard and the Frigate will operate as nonprofit organizations. Now, if the project goes through with the U.S. Navy, the plan is to have it here uh, in Erie by fall of 2022. Jill? Thank you, Brian.